Uh, hello, everybody. I'm, my name is Tom Soturchin, and uh, I'll be today, I'll be our presenter of the webinar. Okay, let's wait for a few more attendees to join. The... Okay, we can start our uh, our today's agenda as we uh, as we as probably it was uh, mentioned to everybody uh, will be how to create uh, how to create. Uh, uh, how to create custom script. So far with uh, Forex Boat, uh, we had the webinars uh, that, uh, that show us how to create a custom indicator, how to create uh, uh, EA. And now there is uh, that third thing where is uh, what we can do with MQL. It's uh, how to create uh, script. So basically, what is a script? A uh, script is uh, part of the code that uh, that can be executed at the same time. So unlike the expert advisor, unlike uh, custom indicator, uh, that they are uh, executed on a tick. So you know, if we put uh, we, we put uh, expert advisor or in, in, uh, custom indicator into a chart, and it waits for a tick to be executed. Well, the script is different. It's executed straight away. As we, uh, I'll show you later when we will uh, will testing it into Meta uh, MetaTrader. It is executed straight away. So that's the main difference. It's not waiting for a tick. Is it executed at, as we send the order to be executed? I hope uh, that's everything, that that's, everything is clear. Uh, and what can we do with the script? Uh, we can do any one-time actions includes any trade operation simple as that it's, it's usually script is not nothing that is very complicated it's not uh, it's not uh, i would like to say as complicated as uh, it's except advisor or it's custom indicator it's something simple but remember it's executed at a time so how to uh how to create a script as uh, simple as we can we can open when we open our meta trade meta editor we have to click file new and here we have to choose script then we go next and first script that i planned uh to uh, tr to make to uh, to present you how to program it today is uh, the one script that will uh, uh that will uh just a moment uh, that will uh, uh, that will send an order but it will be let's say i will add some additional feature that uh, we don't have in metatrader so we will call this script Forex Boat Trading Academy. I'll put that, not, that uh, title and order. Then we can click finish. And here we will have our template for a script. So as we see, we only have on start function. We have some properties here, and this is a basic uh, skeleton for our send order script. Okay, so as I told you, I wanted I wanted to make a script for sending an order. 
you might ask yourself, why would I want something like that? You know, here in MetaTrader, there is an option to send an order. You see, if you if you if you click on a, a symbol, new order, there will be an option. So we can, okay, this is my demo demo account. So I will be opening and closing order during that uh, this webinar. Don't worry, I'm not. I will I won't lose or gain any money here. Okay, what we have here, we have an option when we are uh, sending an order to buy or sell to click a volume, but there is one option that I would like to have and I, I'm not, uh, MetaTrade is not offering uh, to me is, uh, okay, when I choose my stop loss and I enter the order, uh, I don't know how much money I'm going to lose if my stop loss is executed. So what would be the right uh, volume to uh, how many lots? I, uh, I, it, that would be convenient for me to enter when I'm, when I'm sending the uh, order to let's say lose $10 or to lose $100 or to lose some amount of money. I don't have the option where I can put, okay, I want to lose, uh, let's say okay this is my demo account and i have 990 dollars here i i just when i open it trade for with euro dollar let's imagine if, if it will be by dollar and i want to put a uh, stop loss let's say uh 10 or 15 pips below my uh, current market level but i want to lose if i lose lose the trade i, I don't want to lose more than 20 dollars well, I don't have this option here. So I'm I usually when I'm trading manually, I really want to have that. And that's why the most convenient way uh, to do this, of course, there are many uh, calculators here on the screen that will uh, help us to to calculate the number of the lots, but I don't want to do that. I I, I can use that through the script. So first thing that I'll show you, I will show you how to create the sent order script that will do this lot calculation for us. Okay, let's start. I'll just go back to the, uh, to the meta editor. Okay, let's, let's do programming. One moment. Okay, first thing. First thing, what we will do, we need to add a few things in a proper. Okay, what we have done. Uh, we have a description, okay, it's something uh, not very important, but there's one very important uh, line, it's called property show inputs. Uh, this is something what we have to do in a script if we want uh, to have the, uh, the, the, uh, the initial mask when we are starting our script. What does it mean? Okay, I'll show you on the MetaTrader. Well, let's go back. For example, let me start one of the one of the custom indicator here is the TRX. And you see, when I have entered this custom indicator, this mask that I can choose the inputs is shown in the screen. Well, for the script, uh, it doesn't stand for custom indicators and uh, and it doesn't stand for the expert advisor that uh, show property operation is built in. Well, with script is not so we have to write this part of a code when we we are saying to the meta trader that we want that uh, input mask that will help us, uh, that will help us uh, the, uh, 
and uh, that will um, that will that can create the, this input mask where we can add some parameters so that's the purpose of this first line of code i'm going back to my meta editor okay so this is why when we are programming script this part show inputs is very important okay let's continue next So we will create an enumeration. Well, we will simply define two operations, whether we want to buy or whether we want to sell. So we will uh, we will we will put our uh, we will make some simple enumeration. We will create two we will put two operation buy and sell. Simple as that. So next thing. Next thing is next thing we will we will create our external variables. This is this is the one the variables that we can the parameters that uh, we will enter in our input mask. So what parameters uh, I, I decided to, to enter in our buy operation is, uh, is a command. So we can choose between buy or sell. This is type of the, this command is our enumeration operation so by default it will be buy but we'll have drop down menu that can change to a cell so we'll have those two options okay we won't have with this example we won't have pending orders but it can uh, it can also so be uh, programmed next thing is take profit uh this take profit will be in points so zero will mean we won't have a take profit and the number that is about integer that is about zero will be how many points in profit we'll gonna put for a take profit then the one very important is risk amount this is what i said uh, the amount of the risk in a base currency so if uh, how much money we are willing to risk per our trade and for default it will, it will be the, the risk amount will be put to 10 so depend about our account whether it's in us dollars it will be 10 us dollars if our account is in, in euros it will be 10 euros if it's in british pound it will be it will stand the risk amount uh, will stand 10 pounds if it's i don't know norwegian crowns it will be 10 norwegian crowns that's that risk amount is the amount that are willing to risk of our base currency of our account clear okay then next thing is stop loss so this is our default stop loss also in points so for the value for uh, how uh, how much we, we uh, how much points uh we'll choose as a stop loss uh, compare, uh, comparing to the market value for example if uh, if you're a dollar is 1.18 and our stop loss is uh, set to 100 it means that stop loss will be, will be uh, 100 uh, points below the market value so in our case if it's 118 it will be 117.90 slippage is uh, uh, slippage is different uh, uh, difference from the market uh, uh, value in points uh basically the 
the, the time can uh, the uh, in, uh, in 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 that short time while we are executing uh, our operation, uh, the price can change drastically. So if it's uh, more than two points, then it will wait for another uh, uh, another order to execute that uh, to execute that order. I hope that this is clear. Okay, magic, magic number and comma a comment is something that is standard to a uh, trade operation. It's basically uh, uh, these parameters that I'm entering here are the same parameters that you have here. I like to think of when that you have here when you where you are entering new orders. Just accept we are not okay same parameters that we are having here except we are not having a volume in lots we are having value in our base currency for me it's us dollar you see how much how much money i'm willing to lose per the trade simple as that okay let me go back to my meta editor okay now when we create our input parameters, let's do the coding and let's the program the body of our own start function. Okay. So first thing, what we are going to do, we are going to declare the variables. So what variables we are going to, to need for our function, it's going to be number of lots. Okay, we don't have initial value, but it's something that we have to calculate. Then our open price, our take profit price, our stop loss price, our ticket or order number and our com command, whether it's buy or whether it's sell. Next, it's gonna be something that is called tick value. And we will, uh, we will create our uh, tick value it what is tick value uh it is uh it is the price of a point for the symbol in our base currency and this is uh this is the property of our uh of, uh, of our, this is the property of uh, our trading symbol. It's called tick value, and we will just take this property and, we'll, and we will use it later for calculation. So, uh, for every different symbol, tick the the, the point, the, the smallest move has its value in base currency. We will just take in this small amount. And later we will now we will use this tick uh, value and we will use this tick value to calculate the lots so lot will be a uh, uh, risk amount so how much uh, how much uh, money we are willing to risk in our base currency divided by a uh, number of uh, of points that are we, we is prepared to lose which is our stop loss and that number of points is multiplied with tick value so every uh, here we have calculated the 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 uh, we have calculated the point value in our base currency 
and we are multiplying that with total points. So we will have the amount that are we willing uh, that we are willing to risk, and we will divide uh, that amount with risk amount. So we will get lots. Okay. But here, when we are doing that division, we might have one problem. That problem is uh, that uh, amount of lots that is calculated uh, have to be, for example, if we are dealing with many lots, it has to be something like this. This is the, this is the minimum uh, minimum amount that uh, we are uh, that we can have. For for example, if it's mini loss, it's zero point one. But many times we will get we will probably get number like something like this. And we if we have uh, if we enter this uh, lots, if we enter uh, this uh, this number as a lots. It uh, our send order won't work, so we have to do so uh, adjustments just to round this number, and we have to round it with uh, something that is called uh, minimum lot step. So the, to, just to avoid uh, num a number that uh, is not good, uh, that is not acceptable for send order and that is not good, that won't work. So let us do that. Okay. So as we see, uh, we are, uh, we are uh, dividing our lots with the lot step, it is uh, also the property of the symbol. If symbol, it's if it's uh, if this is minimum minimum amount of the lot with what where what can be taken for a trading. So we are dividing with number that we get with our calculation. We are rounding it, and then we are multiplying with the same same number. So in that case, we will, for example, if we get, if our minimum lot is something like 0 0.1, but with this calculation, we go 0 0.254. Then after uh, this is, so imagine if this is, uh, this is our amount of the lots, what we are having here. So to avoid that, we just need to get 0 0.2 in this case. Uh, we have to first, what were we doing? We are, we are dividing this number with our minimum lot steps. So if we are, if our account is dealing with the uh, mini lots, it will be 0 0.1. So if we divide these lots with market info, we, after that we will get not, we will get two. Uh, we, uh, so if you get 0 0.0234, if we divide with uh, 0 0.0, uh, sorry, 0 0.1, we will get a new number. It will be 2.345. Okay, that's what we are having here. So we are rounding this number and after, after okay so after rounding we will have two and then we will multiply again with our lot step so we'll multiply that with 0 0.1 and we will get the number 0 0.2 and what's that this is something that is acceptable for the number of the mini lots. Okay, uh, I hope it's clear. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. 
let's continue and let's create it. Let's create a section for a buy. So if our command is buy, if we decide in our script to, to buy the instrument, we will take our open price for buying, it will be ask price. If take profit is not set to zero, we'll calculate take profit price, which will equal open price plus take profit plus, uh, price uh, multiplied by point. And we will calculate a stop loss price, which will, which will be equal open price mi minus stop loss price uh, multiply with the point. OK, equally, we will do the same part uh, of the code for a cell. So let me enter this. So for for uh, for cell close, it will be uh, for cell command. Uh, our uh, open price will be uh, we will take a bid price. Uh, take profit uh, will be equal, okay, if it's not set to zero, it will be equal open price minus take profit uh, multiplied by a point. Then uh, stop loss price, it will be equal open price plus stop loss multiplied by a point. So what we, uh, what we, uh, what we have done here, we have calculated our parameters that are needed to enter the to execute the order and now we are ready to do our uh, execution of our order so we will do that Okay, we will add one print print line where we, we will uh, where we, we will uh, put in our journal where we will print all the all the uh, where we will print all the parameters that we will uh, that, 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 that the parameters that are calculated. Uh, in our order, so our, which command are we are going to use? Lots, open price, stop loss, and take profit. And then we will, then we will, uh, uh, then we will, uh, then we will execute an order with the parameters that we have previously calculated lot that is that is the one that was most important and it that because of, of which we created this script and last what i'm going to add here is just to have some confirmation if the our order send was successful or not so i'm going to calculate I'm going to calculate uh, if order number is greater than zero, which, which means the order sent was successful and we got the ticket for the order sent. So uh, in our journal that we, we will have printed what is the order number, or if the order sent wasn't executed correctly, as we know, the order sent will return as minus one. And in that case, uh, in our journal, we will get the reason which what was the error code of the error. So we have finished, we have completed our first script. 
and now we can compile it. Okay, I have tried everything pre pre uh, previously, and we don't have a, we won't we don't have a warnings. We don't have uh, any errors. So now what we can do? We can try it. Okay, I'm gonna switch to our uh, meta trader. Okay, don't worry. I'm using demo account. So nothing will happen. Okay, here is our script. So how we can execute script? We will just drag it into into our chart. Simple as that. Uh, only thing uh, we have to uh, that uh, can stop us from executing this trick. We have to have auto trading enabled because if it's disabled, script won't work. Same as uh, expert advisor. So let's do our script. We drag it into uh, our meta trader. Okay, our input mask is opened. Where we can select our inputs. Okay, we are. This is British pound US dollar. We will do the buy. I'm going to risk ten dollars, and our stop loss will stay one hundred. So let me do the script. Okay, we have. Can you see? We have entered our script and our size is 10. So for that small, small, uh, small uh, number of pips that are we willing to risk, in my in this case, I put 100 for this amount, uh, for, for this, um, if we were willing to risk. Uh, Ten dollars per the per the trade, so our uh, our lot size is zero point one. So let me do let me do following. Let me do on, for example euro yen. We will execute the script once again, but this time we will enter let's say sell and we will move our stop loss to let's say thousand points and we are going to risk more let's say thirty dollars okay okay and okay in this case our lot size is as we see 0 0.3 and our stop loss is my, my wider okay this is our this is my demo account and imagine i'm okay i'm losing and I'm, okay let's let me just change my profit to the deposit currency imagine i don't I, i'm happy with the number and i want to close everything okay i need some time to do that and the next script i'm going to show you i'm just create i will create a script that will close all open orders at the same time. So let's do that next script. And let's let's do something useful. Okay. So as we tested our first script, everything is okay. We have programmed it correctly, and I believe there is no, I don't see any any questions so everything is clear uh let's go with uh, let's okay let's do let's start with uh, the next one so same as for a previous script we're going to open the file new script next and we will cause we call this script forex bow trading academy close all and we can click finish okay so the same uh, same skeleton for our script is opened here. Okay, and let's do the coding now. 
so what we are going to do same as same as for the previous one we will add uh, the property uh, we will we will add the show inputs probably and the description call close all of open position just simple as that okay the next thing next thing are going to be our input parameters and i have decided to put to enter Oops, just sorry do you hear me can you can you see me uh just a moment Let the editor okay everything is okay now so uh where did i stop uh, okay uh, our external parameter that i decided that we will have in this script is uh, uh we will have four boolean parameters that will give us the options option to close only buy only long trades to close only sell or only short trades initially this buy and sell will be set to true and we'll have other options that only close our winning trades or only close only losing trades so this will be set to false initially but in our input mask we will have the possibility to change that okay so this this will give us our option not to close all the but where we can decide which quickly how many which which ones we are we can we can close okay now let's do our own start body code okay okay in our in our function body we will put the declaration of the variables okay we will have the integer ticket number the number of the order and we will have uh okay imagine if we are entering the script and there is no open order so we will prevent a script of wasting a time of a computer of our machine so if there is no open order it will return it will do nothing it won't bother itself with passing our code okay let's continue so we we will open we will open a for loop okay is it okay we will open a for loop and we will uh we will we have to calculate how many orders we have open and uh, at the time when we are executing a script so we'll have our for loop that will uh that will uh do each iteration for every order that we have currently opened so okay then to 
then the next thing I'm going to ask this one if close. So if we are when we are going to the through the history to the, through the stack of open orders, uh, order total is calculating two stack. One is mode trades, another mode is mode history. Mode trade means uh, means that we are counting only open trades, and mode history trades that are, uh, that are uh, sorry. Mode trades calculates open and pending orders, and mode history, the other one which we are not using here, is calculating closed and uh, and cancelled orders. In this case, we are interesting only for open orders, so mode trade is something that we need. So, in which er, with every iteration of our for loop, we are selecting only open orders, and because these open orders are one that we need want to close. Uh, this is the, the this is this this is the one that are interested that made the interest to us. Mm -hmm. Let me let me continue. Okay. So next one, what are we going to add is we are going to refine the orders even more so uh if we have option only willing only winning selected okay and uh if order profit is losing then we won't bother we will continue so the uh, the the program will pass this iteration of the loop by doing nothing. So if, if trade is not winning, uh, same if is trade is not if or the lose only losing is selected, and trade is not losing, it won't execute the code of the loop in this iteration. So it will continue. Mm. Next. Next, okay, I pressed. Uh, next is okay, if uh, our order type is zero, which means buy, and we have selected, we have selected buy as a true. It will uh, it will close this order. So if it's buy, close the order. And here we have uh, here we have if the ticket is uh, if the ticket of our order closes uh, greater than zero, then position is closed. If the ticket is minus one, then it will return us an error. And the same thing we will do for the we will do for cell. Let me just enter let me just enter that one. Okay, that's that we will have for cell. So if order type is one, which is integer type of a cell and our cell boolean operator when, when what we selected in our input mask is uh, selected to true uh, uh, then we will close our cell order and here is oh, i didn't explain this one 
so it's basically it's literally normally all, a normal order close when we are selecting ticket number of lots uh current price for a sale it's ask for the buy is bid and the slip which okay here is set to three it's something that's that it is normally used and okay it's just if i'm okay with the brackets yes yes here 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 i'm fine okay we can compile this. Okay, I've tried it previously and we do, don't have any errors. So our function that will close the order is ready to use. Okay, let's, uh, let's switch. Let's switch to MetaTrader and let's try it okay first we are going to open some orders we will do with our newly programmed script so we will open one by and we will okay well, let's make choose another instrument open we will open one cell and let me do euro dollar and we will open another let's say buy okay we see the lot sizes are different different we enter more or less same same amount that we are willing to use but because the pip point for every symbol is different so the lot in the end lot sizes are different and now okay we are having we are losing but never mind it's my demo account imagine we want to close all all that order so how will we use it close all a lot huh uh allow allow like for an expert advisor allow uh allow allow trading have to be checked so that is important for script to to function and with these parameters true buy and sell set true winning losing set to the false it should close all three orders when we press okay so let's do it and you see all our free orders are closed in a moment okay let me try a different combination and let me for example we will enter one buy we will enter one sell and we will enter one more buy okay as we see we are having buys sells buys okay and we are having three of the orders that are losing at the moment so let's try our close all just uh, we want uh, close only winning orders. Just winning orders. We don't have any, but let's execute the strict script. Nothing. Okay, because at the moment all our free trades were losing, so uh, so we didn't execute anything. Okay. I didn't mention before, uh, unlike expert advisor, unlike custom indicator, when we enter the script into a chart, we don't need to remove it because there is no possibility. The script is, the script is caught, as we, as we remember that I said earlier, that is executed only once, so it's not stored anywhere in the chart. We don't, we don't have to remove it like we have to do with the expert advisor or we have to do with the uh, custom indicator script is we can well, after is after it is executed it can be entered 
uh, infinite time again and again into the chart. Okay, I was hoping that some of the trade will become winning. Maybe we will have the luck with this euro yen. Okay, now no, we don't. Well, let's wait for a moment. Okay, imagine we would want. Okay, it is. Let me try. Okay. Our trade is winning. Let's execute quickly this winning trade and set it to true. Okay, it's still winning. Ha, huh, it's closed. But then, <laughs> a funny thing, just as I was executing the trade, the other one became winning, but it became winning after the, after the trade was executed. Let's do one more time and let's close all and we'll put here only winning. Okay, it's close. Now, if you have like the, the third one will become winning. Yes, it will be, but let's try if our, let's play with this and to see if only losing is working. So this time I'm, uh, I'm, I have selected only losing to true. Let's try, ah, it is executed because it become it became losing at that moment, as you see. Okay, let's continue with our plank. Let's start. Let's open a new three new orders. Okay, this one for a pound will be buy. This one will be sell. And let's open one more buy okay normally as we have at the and at, 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 at every start we're having free losing uh losing orders but this time i just want to execute uh, our script let me okay let me do let me do okay now they all become winning but okay this time let uh, uh let close let's close only selling orders so we will set our buy to false and uh, we will leave our winning only winning and only losing to false so it should it should okay now this one is losing uh it should basically only sell this is this was the dollar yen trade we we closed the only our only losing okay now we are happy it's let's say i'm winning eight dollars let's do this script quickly and let me do like this close okay you see we have closed uh we have closed the two trades in a moment so and that was the main point when I, uh, when I, when, when I, what I want is to uh, present it today, how we can imagine if we have a uh, lots of open trades and how, uh, how uh, can we quickly uh, close many orders. So one la last thing that I'm uh, going to, uh, so let me let me summarize in the end what we have done here what we have done here today is uh, i showed you basically i showed you uh, how to program something useful uh something that we can do in our everyday trading something that was very simple uh we create uh two scripts one was for opening orders and that is having additional uh, function that is calculating amount of the risk that are we willing to use we can we basically have the same uh, we have basically same uh, uh same parameters that we have uh, here 
in bit will built in in the meta trader and we can quickly execute the orders okay so if there are any questions here okay i will just enter one more order okay this will be with found and order okay and now we can we can wait for more okay i want to just to see if we hear a lot okay and at the end we can quickly i'll just put default parameters and we have closed our free uh, open orders at the time imagine if you're having let's say 10 or more open orders the script can be very useful, especially the ones that are doing semi-automatic trading, that are this trend that's combined uh, scripts and expert advisor, but uh, main, most decisions are, are, are done manually. So basically that is that I wanted to show you uh today it's our uh, it's our it, it is our script so are there any question i have uh, still i have some time so i'm open to your question if this if, if, if there is a No. Uh -huh. There is one question. Are there scripts available to view? Sorry, uh, I don't understand the question. Just a moment. Uh, will the code be available? Uh, okay. Yes, I can. Uh, I can send the code uh, to. To, uh, to Forex Boat and uh, the code will, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I can send it on the forum or uh, I have to talk with Damian and uh, he will probably send you a code, but uh, it, it's, not a, it's not a problem, definitely not. Okay, I'm just new with this software. Let me see if there, I see there are more questions uh What is shown? Huh, what is shown in your journal entries when the script it is to run? Oh, I see. Okay, that is what was shown in my journal uh, entries. Basically, what I what I have printed. The, if the script is loaded successfully, if uh, the parameters of the orders are shown here, and uh, uh, the things that I put, okay, I have to, I have to show you that. Uh, I, uh, the thing, the things that I put in a print, that is, that is, uh, that I put, okay, here in the print, this line is shown in my journal. Okay, more questions. No, it, uh, huh. it works, okay, 
I mean, this sample is, well, I showed the only four hour charts in Twerk, uh, the script to work or in an, any chart. It works on daily, it works on uh, four hour, it works on hour, depend on what chart it's entered because we here we have entered the send, uh, we have entered order, close order, it's not chart dependent, it doesn't mean okay. I was uh, I was using uh, my MetaTrader's default uh, chart. It was four hour, but slow, fast markers. Same question is uh, it 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 works uh, anytime. So it's the same way as uh, it's the same thing as we are doing while when we are entering any any order in the MetaTrader. It, it's a, it's not a chart dependent. It's not market. Uh, it then we dependent. Uh -huh. What is the reason of uh, but uh, a prefix? I just to have some a short. Uh, I just wanted to have something short for Forex Boot uh, Trading Academy. Academy. It's uh, there's no reason for that. It's just uh, just my um, my idea how to give the name. You don't need to enter this prefix. You have entered your own prefix, so you you can call the order. The, you can call the script just close all or as you wish. There is no, 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 no reason. It's just my uh, let's say, just my creative cre creation. That's for uh, that. That was that uh, F, FBTA prefix. Okay, we have uh, we okay we are okay with the, with the time. So if there are no more questions, uh -huh, there is one more. Can the scripts also be complicated like EAs? Yes. And uh, yes, is uh, well the sky, well, how we say in the, in the matter in amount of complication and it's 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 your it's your creation. Sky's the limit. How how uh, complicated operation you want to uh, program? It's up to you. You can okay. This is the, the these two scripts. Uh, I wanted to show you something useful, and I wanted to show you something simple but uh, as any AA you can complicate you can uh, you, can, you can create uh, everything that you want uh, okay sure any more questions i open how to work with the script for only affecting trades uh, with the special chart window. Uh, you can program a script that is uh, uh, this script. I have program that are not chart, chart uh, dependent. Uh, okay, first one, uh, let me correct. First one it was because it's opening, uh, it's it opened order for the for the instrument of of the chart, but the second one wasn't chart dependent because it closed uh, it closed all the order that were opened at the same time. So it was uh, let me let me go back to the meta trader. Okay, uh, if we do send order. We are opening the order. It was programmed to open for the current current chart. For the in my case, British pound, uh, uh, euro, dollar. But okay, let me just to show. It was one previous question. I want to show it's working with one hour time frame. So let's send an order. Okay, bye. Okay. We see this this script was chart dependent because it's uh, it's to it's close the order of the symbol of this chart. It was British pound. But if you want to close order, okay, let's do something else. Let's say oh, your Australian dollar, US dollars are active chart and it will close all. 
so it's not charge the plane and close all open doors so we can pro program the scripts to any 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 chart instant versus slippage uh, huh. uh is if, if it's fast my okay and this extends to the, your last question if it's very fast market the if it's slippage is too big the trade won't be executed same as uh same uh, as it is when we are entering a trade through our meta trader with our new order if the slippage is uh, too big the trade won't be executed So, okay, if there is no more, we will thank you everybody. I want to thank everyone for uh, your time. And I hope I showed you something about the script, something interesting and thank you for your attendance. Bye-bye. <laughs>